All right, CAD fans, following from the previous video, we're going to add the building to this lot layout from my surveying note. So let's see. Get the layer thing out of the way. I just switched to the work layer because I'm going to use the circle tool, center and radius style to draw in, you know, we used a tape measure from corners to figure out where the corners of the building were. So, for example, the northwest corner of the building is 37.846 feet from B2. So let's start our circle and just type in 37.846. So we've got a circle there, and it's also from B3 at 71. So let's just draw the circle tool again. And that one is 71.063 feet. So right where those two cross is where the one corner of the building is. We'll do that again. From down here for the other corner of the building, 40.896. And one last one from B5 is... 51.616. So those are the those two intersections are the corners of the building. So what I did is simulated taking a tape measure from B2 to that corner, B3 to that corner. Yeah, I think you can kind of picture what I'm doing. Let's then uh, put the building in here. And I'm going to switch layers again. Make that my active layer and building. And draw in a rectangle. And that's going to be, I'm just going to throw it in here and then it, then adjust it. So let's go, it is what, 45 feet, 36 feet. So let's do 36, comma, minus 45. Kind of put it in the right orientation. I think I messed up because that is not using absolute coordinates. So let's do an undo. Something just happened there. Undo again. Try drawing that one more time. Draw a rectangle. Start somewhere in here, and we got to put in the at symbol, so we're in relative references. 36, comma, minus 45. Hit the enter key. That's more like it. And then what we'll do is use the move command. That's what we want to move. I hit enter from there to zoom in a little bit right there. And then we'll use the rotate tool to line it up with the other set of tape measurements. My rotate tool is right there. That object, enter around the base point here. And we'll just kind of swing that around until it looks pretty good. Zoom right in on that. That's pretty good. It probably could be over to the right just a little bit more, huh? So I could tweak it if we wanted to, but I think I'm going to leave it for now and call that good. We can then shut the work level off, get rid of the arcs or the, the circles, and there is the building on the lot. Zoom, extents, and there it is. The next thing we're going to do is figure out how much buildable area is left in this lot besides the building. You can only build with up to within 10 feet of the, uh, of the boundary of the lot. So let's switch to the boundary and I'm going to shut the building off for a minute too. And that's going to allow us to draw in a setback all the way around the lot of so 10 feet. To do that I think the easiest thing to do is to draw a boundary and we'll use, hit pick points and just click, left click anywhere inside of that boundary area and then hit enter. Now we've got one polyline boundary. See how that highlights as one thing as I, as I zoom in here. So that's one boundary. The next piece we can do then is to use the modify offset tool 
And what it's prompting me for is an offset distance. I want to offset by 10 feet, so I'll put in 10 units. Select object to offset. This is it. And then which way do we offset? We want to go in in this direction. And so that just drew a 10 foot offset line inside our lot boundary. Well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Just to check, let's measure it. Get out of this tool and use measure geo. I want to do distance, so that's the correct one. First point, let's take the middle of this and go to the middle of that. And it's giving me a distance of 10.00. Yeah, that's pretty darn close, isn't it? 10.0002. So, good for that. Now we'll put the building back on. Turn it, make, put the display back on. Hey, there's a couple of surveyors working in New Hampshire on a wind power job. You can see the little flags they've laid out for the blasters. And what we'll want to do is figure out the difference between these two things. So let's use the measure geometry again with area. And let's see, we want to add an area. We'll add an object. I need to type object. Object. We're going to take that section right there. So there's an add. Now let's subtract. And we'll also do an object. Subtract mode and subtract the building out of that. And then I think that should do it. If we hit enter one more time. No. Perimeter. Yeah. Here it is. We got it. Already, it's there on the screen. I don't have to enter again. It gives me a total area of 5,858 square feet.